26. New developments tonight surrounding the crisis in Syria. We are learning national security officials proposed a 60-day deadline for military action in Syria with one 30-day extension possible. Top Republicans are starting to line up in support of President Obama's call for a military strike against Syria, including House Speaker John Boehner. And Night on Your Side's Liz Kotelik joins us live from the newsroom with what our lawmakers are considering. Guy, our local congressmen seem to have at least one thing in common. They're happy President Obama is asking for their opinions, but some of those opinions are currently very different. It's the question the world is waiting to get answered. What is the United States going to do? Stay out of Syria or begin missile strikes? But as U.S. ships enter the Red Sea, preparing to strike if necessary, answers from lawmakers here in Arizona are mixed. This is not just about one action, it's about the chain reaction that could follow. Congressman Ron Barber tells us he needs more proof that the Assad regime was responsible for this. Chemical attacks that killed and wounded Syrian men, women and children. Simply being told that that's the case. Uh, is not enough for me. I need to see whatever evidence there is. He says he will not make a decision until he gets more information, a similar opinion to Senator Jeff Flakes. In a statement to Not On Your Side, the senator says, I will review all classified and unclassified information to properly assess the implications of U.S. action and the impact on U.S. interests. But Congressman Raul Grijalva, on the other hand, tells us he's already made up his mind. I've been consistent about this, uh, this position, about unilateral, preemptive, uh, war actions for a long, long time. His vote, no. Well, Grijalva says he'd be more comfortable with a strike if we had more international support. But Senator McCain, his vote, well, he's all for the strike. In a joint statement with Lindsey Graham, he says, it's not in our national security interest for this conflict to grind on. Now, President Obama can go ahead with the strike regardless of whether the House and Senate agree. However, a new ABC News Washington Post poll found that nearly six in ten Americans oppose unilateral U.S. missile strikes against Syria. Guy? Quite an issue. Yes. Thank you, Liz.